Welcome to my channel. This is Dora. In this video, I will show you how to create the gen, the mesh of an airfoil in Salome for OpenFOAM. And in this part one video, I will show to you how to um, prepare the geometry, how to create uh, the background geometry. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start it. And in this video, I will use geometry module and normally I use a uh, shaper but for geometry manipulation and defeaturing the geometry module has uh, its better features so I will use it and now in the Salome I will open the geometry uh, this is mesh, okay, the geometry and first I will import uh, mesh uh, the airfoil geometry and ig yes and it says it do i want to take into account the millimeter so it, it's yes otherwise uh, the foil will be too large okay now we can see the foil and so it's in x uh x and y directions and i will create a domain so that i will um close it for once and before closing i will uh, try to figure out the dimensions of this airfoil and in the inspection and in the dimensions we can see the bounding box okay so the x is from 0 to 1 and in y direction it's like 0.1 or something like this and in the z direction it's 2 meter okay so i just close and i just wait so the idea is to create a domain uh, larger than its uh, wingspan so i will create a sphere and the radius is like five meters okay. and i will make it transparent i click on the on it and increase the transparency and let's see mm, it's a bit too small so I need to delete it and create a new sphere. And this time I will do 10 meters. And I click again. Remember, this is a bit iterative process. Okay, even 5 is not so bad. You can do it, but I would prefer a bit larger. And to create the other farfi part i will use a cylinder and we have uh, um, uh, options and i will use the first option and the base point will be our origin which is o here and the vector is in x direction so ox i will have a cylinder with radius 10 meters and height 10, maybe yeah, 20 meters okay and close and then i will combine these in the operations we have boolean you can uh fuse and common and cut and these are really very useful uh, functionalities and I will fuse and I will need to uh, select two objects here we have two objects and it will detect self interactions and remove extra edges so apply and close now we have our domain and we have our um, Airfoil. 
Mm, here we go. But as we can see, I will. I want to use this um, negative z. Uh, yeah, negative z uh, area. And I will only uh, generate the mesh for half the geo domain. So I will divide the domain into two parts. So to do that, I need a plane. So let's create a plane. A new entity. And build uh, or, uh, primitives. No, no, basic. Yeah. Yeah, we have a plane. And we have several methods that we can create a plane from. And I will choose this one. We can set two vectors. For the first vector, I will input the OX vector. And for the second, uh, it's OY. Okay, so now I have. Uh, Size should be like hundred. No, no, it this should be also, yeah. Oh, to do oh, uh, to uh, divide this domain, we will create a partition. And in the new end, in the operations, and we have partition. And the objects is our uh, fuse one, which is this object. And the full object is our plane. Okay. And why? And You can see the partition. Okay, I think I did something wrong with the partition. So I will use plane, and the object is parti this one, and the tool is plain one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Now it's divided into two, but as you can see here, it's only an object, and we need to divide it into two solids. And to do that, I will explode the new entity, explode, and explode as solids, and apply and close. Now we have two separate solids, and I will use this side of the domain. So, the procedure is to uh, subtract this airfoil from this um, domain, and but I cannot do it yet because we need to take care of the okay. Because let's see the airfoil, and it has some problems here. You can see it has uh, not good surfaces like here and bad faces and we need to repair this that's the main reason I used um, this geometry module rather than shaper module for repairing the geometry this geometry module is uh, much better okay so I will use uh, repair and you can see here sewing and we can sew all the faces so that the uh, gaps here will be will disappear so to do, to do that i will need to uh, explode this first into several phases this airfoil into phase and apply and close now we have four phases here one two three four okay and we need to sew these four phases now in the sewing 
So like those faces, and you will shift click this, click all faces, and we have four objects to apply a course. Now we have a new object which is a set, uh, shell, and we have the name doing one. But this is a shell object. We have uh, faces, shells, and solids. And to create a solid from the shells, uh, we first need to export the shell into phases. Now we have new four phases, which are uh, which have no gaps between them. See here, the old phases have like these problems, but our new phases have no problem. And I will combine these faces into new solid. And I will click new entity, build solid. And the make from shells. Okay. I will. No, no, no. Sorry. I will need to create a shell first. Okay. I'll click build shell. And I will use these four faces to create a shell. Fine, close. So I have a new shell, which is essentially the same as this previous sewing shell. But what's the difference? Uh, I don't know. A, this is like a procedure for preparing phases, and you need to uh, explode first to phases and sew them. As a shell and explode them again as a phases and combine these phases to create the shell. Finally, this shell can be used to create a solid. Okay, now we can see the solid three and the object is shell one and created you know solid apply and cool. Now we have our solid, which is a wing. Okay, now we have our uh, the ground domain uh, where is it uh, solid 2 1 yeah solid 1 and we have our airfoil so all we need to do is move this airfoil in the Z direct negative Z direction and cut it out from this domain so I'll translate operation transformation and translation and I will choose solid 3 object, which is it's our object, and I will use negative 2 in the, the direction. And I will not create a copy, I only move okay, and apply and close. Now we have our uh, subject, uh, our airfoil inside our domain and we can improve this transference okay here we go you can see it and all we need to do is to use another boolean and this time we will use cut and as a main solid it's solid one which is our uh dom a fluid domain and the tool object should be our solid 3 which is our wing and detect sub interaction and apply and call okay now we have our object okay and this is ready to create the mesh so I'll say call study 3 and to create the mesh we need to Assign the boundary numbers, uh, boundary names, and I will do it. And to do that, we will use to, uh, we will need to use this new entity, uh, yeah, group, okay, and create group. So this is the group dialog box, and I will need to choose the face so that we will be choosing faces, and I will. Which is a name, you know, right? 
for the pressure inlet which is this region and we need to click here in this white area so that we will uh, show column method we are choosing the phases okay so click and shift click and add so we have two phases as an inlet actually this is more of a, a pressure faulty but i will combine these as inlets and you can say, uh, assign different names it doesn't matter and just apply and i will need to select this guy and give the name out it at this apply and this surface then a tree right. and the rest is this our airfoil and we need to be a bit careful okay there you go one two and I think we have third yeah, yeah the third surface right now we have three surface and we don't have any surface any group to name so i will click apply and close now we can check whether oh, oops i forgot to, to name it so we re just rename it as wing maybe l4 okay now this is for the inlet this is for the outlet patch and this is for the symmetry and this is our airfoil wing and now we are ready to mesh okay Thank you very much for watching it and in the next video i will show you how to mesh uh, this geometry uh, including how to control the mesh size and how to create the very important boundary layer mesh okay thank you very much and see you later